What's going on, Don't Unfriend Me Nation? Nobles and countrymen. Lend me your ears. That's disgusting. Because all the media has just had theirs burned off by Eli Crane scorching. Just lighting them on fire, napalm. Energy from the sun, Kelvin, raising to a point of not being able to sustain life. Turn the entire dais into ash. I've always loved when Trump has done it. I think politics get way too emotional, but there's nothing wrong with just going up there and spitting the truth. Just plain old unadulterated truth and, you know, go give and go figure that a Navy SEAL would have a problem going up there and spitting facts. It's one of the reasons why I endorsed Eli Crane and just love chatting with him in, in one of our episodes. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at it, I'll link it in the show notes. But this is what scorched earth means. Stick around 15 seconds on the other side and we will watch it in its entirety. And then I've got some things to say. Do you want the truth? Are you tired of being so confused? You feel like you're more f***ed up than the lies on the evening news. Well, just step right in. We can talk about it all as friends. And if you want, we can hug and kiss a man. Still point, S-T-I-I-L-P-O-I-N-T, Eli Crane. SEAL Team 3 Congressman, District 1 of Arizona, was on the Don't Unfriend Me show and gave this small podcast the honor of having a conversation with him. We loved it. We can't wait to get him back. We hope that he is uh, doing well. And from the looks of it, he is. And when I say that, I know a lot of people don't like to hear that. They think it's you know hyperbole. But uh, when you watch trajectories for a long enough period of time from the beginning of the founding of this country to now, where we're at now, um, it, it's it's gone the wrong way for so long, and it's under the weight of so much corruption, fraud, waste, abuse, and in my opinion, pure evil, that it can only withstand so much. And so I want to be very clear on the fact that I want to get into this fight, and I've put my hat, I've thrown my hat into the ring, I'm going to get into this fight, but... but. To quit thinking that somebody's coming to rescue them. I think he always knew what he was walking into, a cesspool of just rotten, putrid, just swamp. But the fact that this man isn't taking money, isn't becoming a multimillionaire, who's sticking to his scruples, his morals, what his constituents wants, this video states that. I'm going to let you watch it in its entirety. It's good enough where you don't need me, but we're going to get back on the other end and ask if you want to play a nice game of chess. Listen to this. Thank you guys for coming. It's an honor to be here. Thank you, Matt and Ms. Stefanik for leading on this. You know what I love about this? Watching uh, where President Trump is at in the polls. <laughs> I love it because it shows the American people don't trust you guys. And they shouldn't because you guys are full of it and everybody knows it. There's a few honest journalists in this town, but they're very few and far between. You know how I know it wasn't an insurrection? because he hasn't been charged with insurrection. And we can all see by the lawfare how he's facing up over 700 years in jail right now, how they've tried to destroy this man, destroy his businesses, that if they felt they had an inkling of a chance of convicting President Trump of jaywalking or insurrection, they would absolutely charge him. You know how else I know it's not an insurrection? Because this is the first insurrection in the history of the world where the people they were a part of it, were unarmed. It's pretty hard right. to do if you walk around and see how many individuals are carrying firearms, all right? Last thing I wanna say about how I know it's not an insurrection is because I actually listened to the words of the president. If you're trying to stoke an insurrection, you don't tell the people listening, hey, I want you to go over there peacefully and patriotically, all right? This is not an insurrection. What it is, is a party that's scared to death of this man because he's America first and he's shown time and time again he's willing to bust up the swamp and he continues to beat you like a drum. That's what this is really about. And for all you journalists out there, you know, that are pretty cowardly, some in this room right now, you don't have the, you don't have the balls to write the truth. And even if you did, your publishers wouldn't publish it because you're a part of a propaganda outlet, probably one of the biggest in the history of the world. If you had any courage, I want I want some. Listen, I, I, Eli and I have spoken, I don't know, 
20 times over texts, uh, over Instagram, uh, you know, drinking over a few whiskeys in Las Vegas at SHOT Show, um, the show, whatever. Um, and I'll tell you this, I, I don't know Eli extremely well, but I know when he's pissed and Eli's pissed. It, 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 there is a calm, cool collectedness to Eli's game. And I know I said I was going to interrupt, but I got to just add this context. Trust me when I say this, he's not happy. And he is one of the most respectful guys. He's, he's, he's always, yes, sir, no, ma'am. He's always right to the point. He's curt, but he's not, he's not, you know, throwing and clearing rooms with flashbangs and, and setting, you know, breaching charges uh, and doing this type of stuff. This is what he used to do. He's not doing that in his communique with his peers and with the constituents. He's not, he's taking the gloves off. And this is what we need. This is what the Democrats do. I wrote this article today and go find it on the uh, news dot the dumb show and go read it. What we need in the Republican party. This is it. Call a spade a spade. Call it out. Let's listen to the rest. You could ask some questions about that day, January 6th, that we keep talking about. Why is the pipe bomber not been caught yet? Huh? Why is the pipe bomber not being caught? The one individual that could have committed multiple mass, mass casualties has not been caught yet. Go look at, go, go follow some of uh, BD's reporting over at Revolver News. He's got some uh, evidence for you guys. What's going on up here with January 6th is there's a pretty big cover up actually going on up here in Capitol Hill about some of the involvement of our government. And uh, it's quite unsavory. And I want to acknowledge uh, Rep. Massey's work on this lately and others who have been trying to get to the bottom of it. But here's some other, here's some other questions for you journalists to ask. Why did it take so long for Ray Epps to be charged? Hmm? Go, go watch videos of Ray Epps on that day and how he was stoking the entire thing and how long it took him to be charged. And yet there were so many people that were brought, in, brought into the D.C. D jail and they're still there to this day. So if you guys wanna ask some questions, those are some questions, but the bottom line is we all know President Trump didn't, did not commit insurrection and he's probably gonna be the president of the United States once again. And so I'm happy to be a part of this resolution. I'm happy to support the president and I'm happy to call out all you little cowardly liars in the press. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming became self-aware on uh, Wednesday, February 7th at 1026. I actually think that was from yesterday. Uh, he here are my thoughts. One is that, Eli, I got to get you on the damn show because <laughs> I have so many questions, not just to kind of go through the freshman orientation and what that process was like, wh where maybe his eyes were were closed on a couple things and now they're open or was he completely understanding that this is where it was going to go? And, you know, remember they tried to cancel this guy. Um, and, and he made some comments that they went after, uh, you know, his, his comments as, as racist. And I, you know, I did a show on that too. I, I don't always agree with Eli. I don't always agree with some of the bedfellows that he, he, uh, supports, but I will always support his right to say what he says. This man has earned my respect. I love what he said. I hope you did too. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I appreciate it so much. We'll see about getting him on the show. Thanks for watching the Don't Unfriend Me show. Do me a favor, share, like, and subscribe. It helps. It gets us out there. I don't need your money. I don't need you to go buy something unless you want to go buy a shirt at the dumbshow.com or something. But what I need you to do is share, like, and subscribe. That is what makes it work. That is what makes it tick. We will see you tonight at seven o'clock. I hopefully will have the Tucker Carlson, Russia, uh, Vladimir Putin, and Tucker Carlson interview. It's going to drop any time now, and uh, I would love to show it to you live. Thanks for watching the Donut Unfriend Me show. God bless. Take care of each other, and I'll see you at 7 o'clock. Adjusting transmitter output. This is the Don't Unfriend Me show with your hosts, Matt, Leroy, Amy, Olivia, and Mike. Geopolitics, military analysis, and election coverage. Coming to you live on the Spreely.tv network and all major social media channels at The Dumb Show.